guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to be making a simple video on how to cut and sew off shoulder circle dress okay so we are going to have our circle dress in the form of off shoulder so i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed creating this video please visit our facebook page to the designs on instagram to the designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your off shoulder circle dress now i'm going to say that for your off shoulder the number of inches you deduct for your off shoulder totally depends on how off you want the dress to be so note that there is no a definite number to deduct from your basic gown in order to give you your off shoulder but rather how off you want your dress to be determines the number of inches you are going to take off. So you can decide to take away about 3 inches, 4, 5, 6, 7. It all depends on how off or basically where you want your off shoulder to start from. Now, let's go ahead now and calculate our basic measurements. So our shoulder measurements is 16, bust, waist, hip and our gown length. So our shoulder now is 16. We'll go ahead and divide 16 by 2. We have 8 inches. Our bust is 38. 38 divided by 4 plus 2. We have 11.5. Our waist is 32. 32 divided by 4 plus 2. We have 10. Our hip is 40. We have 40 divided by 4 plus 2. We have 12 inches. Our gown length is 35. So 35 plus 2, we have 37 inches. Now for this gown length, what I have is from my shoulder to my desired gown length. So when we want to cut out the fabric, I'm going to go ahead and deduct the number of inches we want to take off for the off shoulder, okay? But you can deduct it directly from your basic measurement measurements if you find that very easy or have your basic gown measurements and when you want to cut out your fabric you go ahead and deduct it so whichever method you use you are still going to arrive at the same answer now another thing you also need to take note of is that what we want to achieve is like a circle dress is a circle dress and we also have our off shoulder so circular dress are always free and they are not fitted Likewise, so the number of inches you add in order to have your freeness around your gown totally depends on you. So this is our basic measurements which we have as fitted gown measurements, right? So the freeness you want for your circle dress totally depends on you. So you can go ahead and add about 5 inches across your basic measurements. You can add about 6 inches, 3 inches, 2 inches. It does depend on how free you want it to be. So there is not a definite measurements or definite number to be added to your basic dress to give you your circle dress it just depends on what you prefer and how free you want it to be so i'll go ahead now and add about five inches to my basic measurements starting from the shoulder to the gown length measurements now is eight eight plus five we are going to have 13 our bust is 11.5 plus five we are going to have 16.5 our waist is 10 plus 5, we are going to have 15 inches. Our hip is 12 inches plus 5 inches, we are going to have 17 inches. So this measurement now is what we are going to use to cut out our circle dress. And note that it totally depends on how free you want it to be. So I added about 5 inches. You can add 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. It depends on how free you want it to be. But note that circle dress are always free. And the more free it is, that is where you are going to have the beauty. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe join us for training trainings are available both online training and physical training all the details are going to be in the description box below so now so guys the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and fold our fabric now you are going to fold your fabric in a triangle shape now the reason why we have the fabric in a triangle shape is because what we want to achieve is a circular dress right so how will you fold your fabric to give you this triangle shape? I have my fabric here, which is my African print 
and African prints are available. Okay, so you take one edge this way and then you fold it this way. So you can see what you are going to have. You are going to have this triangle effect. So guys, now we folded the fabric. The next thing you are going to do now is to place your tape measure where you are going to have your shoulder measurement. So what we have for our shoulder is 13 inches. I'll go ahead now and mark this point. So this is where our measurement is going to start from. Now, the number of inches you take off, if you want to take off 6 inches, you place your 6 inches on this point. If you are taking off 5 inches, you place it on this point because this line here will be your shoulder measurement, which happens to be where your measurements will start from. So I want to take out about 6 inches. I will go ahead now and place my 6 inches this way. And then we will go ahead and take our gown length. So our gown length is 37 inches. Go ahead and mark that. Go ahead now and mark that. So this is our gown length. This is our gown length. Now, what you are going to do now is you place your tape measure from this up part, from the starting point. You check out what you have for your gown length. So we have about 48 inches from that edge. So you just go ahead now and place your tape measure this way. So you just move your tape measure round. Just move your tape measure. So it's easier this way to get your... It's easier this way. So you can see you also move it to this point now. And then you mark your gown length. So connect the lines together. This is where we are going to have our gown length. And this is where we are starting our basic measurements from. Now, the next thing you have to do now is to go ahead and mark your armhole. You place your... The inches you are taking off, for me, is 6 inches. You place the inches you are taking off at this point. So for me, I'm taking off 6 inches. So I place my 6 inches this way. Now for your shoulder to arm or we have 10 inches, right? Shoulder to arm or we have 10 inches. We have 10 inches. So you can see what we have now, 10 inches. So it simply means that from your shoulder to your arm on now, you are going to have 4 inches. 4 inches because you've taken away 6 inches off. So all you have to do now, the easiest way is just to place what you are taking off this way on your shoulder line and then you mark your arm on. So this becomes our arm on line. Now you go ahead now and take your bust measurement. We take our bust measurement. From bust to waist, we have six, eight inches. Bust to waist, we have eight inches. Waist to hip, we have nine inches. I have a video on how to know your distance calculation. I'm going to go ahead and link it in the description box below. So on your waistline now, you go ahead and mark your waist measurement. On the hip line, you go ahead and mark our hip measurement, which is 17 inches so you go ahead now and connect the lines together go ahead now and connect the lines together so you can see this is basically what we are going to have now our shoulder measurements here we have 15 inches but what we need for our shoulder is what 13 inches so you mark 13 inches which is your shoulder measurement and then you connect it in a slant shape this way so this will be our shoulder measurements, our bust, waist, and our hip measurements. So I'll go ahead now and cut this out. After cutting it out, this is what we have. So you can see the A-shape effect and you can see our arm O at this point. So we'll go ahead now and cut out the same thing for our back block. So for the back block now, I've gone ahead to fold the fabric also in a triangular shape. So what I'm going to do just to make it very easy is to place my front block on it. So I'll just place my front block on it this way and then I'll go ahead and cut it out. What I'm going to have now is we have two pieces, one for the front. So what we are going to have now is two pieces, one for the front block and one for the back block. So I'll go ahead now and set this aside. So guys, now we want to cut out the sleeve. 
So I'm also folding my fabric also in a triangle shape in order for me to cut out my sleeve. Now, what we took off for our blouse off shoulder, for our gown off shoulder was 6 inches. So you go ahead now and mark the 6 inches that, you, that we took off from the gown. So I'm going to mark this point of, I'm going to mark this point for the starting point of my sleeve, right? So this is our 6 inches we took off for the blouse, right? Now, because we also want to attach like elastic also at the upper part, you go ahead and add the number of inches you add to your measurement that you took off totally depends on you. So I'm going to go ahead and add about four and a half inches. So by the time I use elastic to gather it up, I'll still have like my basic um, measurement that we took off for the off shoulder. So at this point now, so at this point now, you go ahead now and mark your sleeve length. So the inches you took off, for me, which is about 6 inches, you are also going to place it this way while taking your sleeve length measurement. So our sleeve length is 24 inches plus our sewing allowance. Our sleeve length is 24 inches plus our sewing allowance, we have 26 inches. So this is where we have our sleeve length. Inches we took off is six inches. You also place it at this point, and then you mark where you have your sleeve length. So this is our sleeve length now. So I'm going to check what I have here, which is 20 inches. I'll just mark it this way, and then connect the lines together. So this will be our sleeve length. This is where we are going to have our sleeve length now. We're also going to mark our round sleeve also. So our round sleeve is 16 inches, which is 8. So this is our round sleeve. Now, because it's a free sleeve, you're also going to determine how many inches you want to add to it. So the number of inches you add totally depends on how free it's going to be. So I'm going to add about 6 inches. I'm going to add about six inches, which includes my sewing allowance. So I'll just go ahead now and connect it to this point. Now, in order for you to know your arm hole, go ahead now and place the inches you took off this way, which is six inches, and then you mark your arm hole. So the arm hole is what 10 inches. So we place our six inches this way, and then we mark our arm hole just like the way we did for the gown. So you go ahead now and connect it this way in a slant shape so this is what you are going to have for the arm hole and then you have your sleeve coming this way so i'll go ahead now and cut this out and show you and this is what we are going to have for the sleeve and you are going to have two pieces for the sleeve so we'll go ahead now and set this aside i'm going to cut out now is the pocket okay so i'm going to cut out the pocket and for the length of my pocket, I have 13 inches by 8. So I just have about 4 pieces for my pocket, which I'm going to show you guys how to fix in your pocket and also where to fix in your pocket for a gown. So I just have 4 pieces of this, 16 inches by 8. So I'll go ahead now and set this aside. The next thing I also have for my gown, which is not compulsory, is just a belt, okay? So, for your circle, for your off-shoulder circle dress, you can go ahead and cut out a belt so that you can style it with your belt, okay? So, for my belt now, what I, what I have here for my belt is 48 inches and for the wideness, I have 4 inches. So, the wideness of the belt totally depends on how big or how small you want it to be. So, this is just like a long piece which I'm going to show you guys how to achieve your belt with it. So, now let's move to the sewing part of this tutorial. The first thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead now and fold the edge of the gown. So, I'll be making use of this elastic which is about half inch. So, once you fold it, you go ahead and pass your elastic. So, basically, this is what you are going to have. So, this is the edge of your gown. You put your elastic this way and then you go ahead and fold it and you stitch it all the way. Okay? So, you can see. So, after that, this is basically what you are going to have. You can see the stretches and for the front, this is what you are going to have. So, you also do the same for 
you also do the same for the other piece the edge also you go ahead and fix in your elastic so this is what you have for your shoulder so once you are done with that now you can see that our dress is almost ready guys now for the sleeve also the upper part of your sleeve you also go ahead and put in your elastic for your both sleeves okay this is one sleeve and for the other sleeve also you also have your elastic now what you are going to do now is in order for you to attach your off shoulder sleeve to your dress on our sleeve we have this slant part this slant part which is our arm o so go ahead now and take one slant part attach it to this slant part also of your dress of course we have this slant part also on the dress which we have as the arm o so go ahead and take one slant part place it this way and then you go ahead and stitch it so after stitching it now the second part of your sleeve the slant part also you go ahead and so I've gone ahead now to pin one part of our sleeve to the other side of the dress. Now for this other side of your sleeve where you have the slant part, you also go ahead and also attach it to the slant part of your dress. So this is actually very easy to achieve. So once you are done with that, this is what we are going to have. Are done with that. Once you are done with that, this is what you are going to have. So you can see you've attached the slant part of your sleeve to the slant part of your dress. And this is what your sleeve looks like. So the next thing you will do now is to go ahead and stitch this part. Now, where will you know where to attach your pocket? Of course, we want our circle dress to have pockets. Your shoulder to your waist is 17 to 18 inches. We took off about 6 inches of which I'm going to place at this point because we took off 6 inches for the off shoulder. So we'll go ahead now and mark either you mark 17 inches or you mark 18 inches. So I'll go ahead and mark 17 and half. I'll mark 17 and half. Now for the length of my pocket i'm going to make use of eight inches i'm going to make use of eight inches so the next thing we are going to do now is so this is where we have our pocket this line and also at this point so this is where we are going to fix in our pockets all we did was place your tape measure don't forget to also put in what you took off which is six inches and then you mark 17 or 18 inches so if you took off four inches for your off shoulder you will have four inches this way if you took off five inches you have five inches at this point so we've gone ahead now to mark these two points for our pocket to do now is you are going to take one pocket place it this way place it this way and stitch it so you are stitching where you have your so this is where we have for the pocket right so you go ahead and place your pocket this way let me zoom it in so you go ahead this is your pocket now you go ahead and place it this way you stitch from where you have your pocket length now for the second part also you also place your pocket on the back block also so this is what you are going to have you're going to have your pocket this way you're going to have your pocket this way after stitching from this point to this point this is what you are going to have so the next thing you are going to do now is you go ahead and stitch your sleeve up to the starting point of your pocket once you are done with that you come down to after your pocket because this seven and a half inches we have here we fixed in our pocket already so you stitch this point up to the starting point of your pocket and after your pocket you go ahead and stitch it all the way and you can see what you can see that our gown is almost ready so i'll go ahead now and do that and show you guys what we have so guys this is what we have so you can see the off shoulder effect and our circle gown. So I've gone ahead now to attach the belt to it just to give it some fitting around the waistline. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.